allows you to easily schedule your social media content to help you build brand awareness and amplify your unique voice. In this video, we're going to walk through how to schedule content to your social channels. First, click on a social account from the left sidebar. Don't worry, you'll have an opportunity to select multiple social accounts in just a bit. Next, click on the Q tab, then click inside the text area that says, what would you like to share? This will open up the composer, which is where you can craft your post. You can select the social accounts that you'd like to schedule the posts for by clicking on the avatars at the top of the composer. I do want to note that it's only possible to select one Twitter account at this time due to Twitter's guidelines. Start by entering a base post in the composer. I have one saved for you right here. You can also upload an image or a video for your post. You can then click on the Customize for each network button to tailor the post for each social network that you're sharing it to. You'll then be able to adjust the post for each type of social account, which helps to make your strategy more authentic and tailored to the network you're sharing to. In addition to images and videos for each social network, you'll also be able to add link attachments to Facebook or LinkedIn posts. If you're posting to Instagram, you'll have a few additional options such as first comment, shop grid, and location tagging. We'll chat about these features in detail in another video called Using Instagram with Buffer. In the upper right side of the composer, you can select which campaign you'd want to associate with this post. We'll chat more about campaigns in another video called Working with Campaigns in Buffer. So if you aren't sure what campaigns are, don't worry. You can also add mentions to posts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For Facebook and Twitter, simply type the at symbol and start typing the first few letters of the account you'd like to mention. Matching results will be returned and you can click on the page you'd like to include. For Instagram, it will be necessary to type in the exact handle of the account you wish to include since we're not able to auto-complete the mention due to API limitations. I do want to note that it's not possible to mention Facebook personal profiles, only Facebook pages. Additionally, it's not possible to mention Facebook pages if you're posting to a Facebook group. In addition to adding tags and mentions, it's also possible to include hashtags in your posts for any social network and they will be hyperlinked once published. For Instagram, you might like to use our hashtag manager in a first comment. Feel free to learn more about this in our video entitled Using Instagram with Buffer. So once your post is ready, you'll have a few scheduling options. Add to queue, which is the default option. If you select this option, your post will be added to the next available time slots from your posting schedule, which usually means it'll be placed at the bottom of your queue. We recommend going with this option whenever possible as it follows your preset posting schedule. Share next. This option means that your post will be saved at the top of your queue and it will be the next one to be published. Other posts in your queues will be bumped down one time slot. Share now means that the post will be published immediately, essentially skipping the queue. And then scheduled posts gives you the option to choose a custom date and time in the future for the post to be shared. We'll go ahead and click on the add to queue to send this post to the next available time slot in the queue. All right, you now know how to post to your social media accounts using Buffer. Next, you might like to take a look at how to manage your scheduled posts in a video entitled Managing Your Queue.